Macon County deputies arrest a woman accused of deceiving community members to get cash. WAND's Megan Odell has the latest on the crime that has such a twist, it's disturbing. Megan? Most parents would do anything they could to help their sick child. For two days, investigators say 37-year-old Trinity Schroeder searched the streets in the town of Oriana, requesting cash donations for her sick child and handing out flyers with information on the child. This child, however, is not sick at all. She passed away in 2008. She also wasn't Schroeder's daughter, but the daughter of a friend. After residents became suspicious, they contacted police, and her license plate was given and turned into investigators. With help from scanning Schroeder's social media accounts, they were able to make the arrest within 24 hours of receiving tips. Lieutenant Antonio Brown describes some of the details in this hard-to-believe case. The child uh, which you were seeking the funds for, um, um, it was um, sad to say that this child actually uh, uh, passed away uh, in 08. It was under 100 bucks that she was able to get, but it's just uh, the thought itself and the, uh, the whole act in itself is, is what's troublesome. Schroeder was previously charged in a similar scam, and because of that conviction, this new accusation will be considered a felony. Investigators encourage you to be inquisitive of information and situations like these, and remember that authorities are available anytime to talk through your suspicions. Again, scams like these that lead to arrests aren't possible without community help, so always keep in touch with authorities about anything that seems questionable. Megan O'Dell, WAND News, back to you. More details now. If you think. Mark Decatur's kickoff to National Child Abuse Prevention Month. WAND's Megan O'Dell talked with court-appointed special advocates showing just how big a problem child abuse is right here in Macon County. Megan? Last year, more than 600 abuse cases involved children in Macon County. This is the highest the number has ever been. Today, court-appointed special advocates, also known as CASA, and community members gathered outside the Macon County Courthouse to plant 622 pinwheels, one for each child abuse victim. The group also lit a wreath signifying the many voiceless victims affected by violence. CASA Director Pam Burkhart shared her advice on how we as a community can help put an end to these acts of violence. Um, you know, divert mom's attention just by saying, you know, wow, he's really trying you today, isn't he? Um, just kind of giving her a second to breathe, um, distracting the kid, you know, saying, hey, that's a really cool hat you have on, buddy. Do you like the Cardinals? Just something that will take his attention away from whatever the conflict is between them something that any one of us could do at any given time. An open house after the ceremony offered the opportunity for questions and to share prevention tips. Burkhardt also mentioned that with the expected budget cuts to state funded programs, the number of abused children could rise even more if family service resources are cut. CASA is just one of the many family programs that are desperate for volunteers. If you are interested in helping a child who has been affected by abuse, we put a link to CASA's website on ours at WANDTV.com. Sean, back to you. Thanks so much.